back in the years, way, way back in the years, we used to have these uh, mediums of storage of data, uh, our information. Uh, we used to have the CDs, we used to have the floppy disk, we used to have the um, all the other old ways of storing data. But now, as technology has been advancing um, years after years, years after years, is when we have uh, gotten some changes and that's why uh, we're going to be diving into this powerful and essential tool for everyone working online and it's our Google Drive. Whether you're looking to store, organize or collaborate on files, Google Drive has you covered. In this video we'll explore some of the key features that can supercharge your productivity. Let's jump right into it. So Google Drive is a cloud storage service that allows you to store, access and uh, share files securely and uh, it is accessible from anywhere whether you're using a desktop, laptop or mobile device. What makes it so versatile is uh, the integration with other Google services like Docs, Sheets and uh, Slides. First of so, all, let's talk about the storage and organization. With Google Drive, you can upload any type of file, documents, images, videos or any other thing you can upload on uh, Google Drive. And with 15 GB of storage, you can store quite a bit before upgrading. What we're going to do first, we're going to upload anything. Um, for instance, I just want to upload. Um, what can I upload? Okay, let me upload a smartphone. Yeah, I'm uploading it. So that's the, that's the way that we can upload anything. And maybe it could be a document. Uh, we can go upload uh, maybe a document. So these are the documents. We have uh, the different documents. Uh, maybe this invitation, we upload it. So another feature that we have with Google is a scan where we're going to tap that plus button and go to scan. So I just want to scan the script that I already have here of our video. So la, the capture, okay, it's just captured. And now I said done. And how are we saving it? Is it as PDF or as JPEG? So it's the option is yours, what you want. So we can save it as a maybe PDF. So it, it has saved on our drive. So the other thing that we need to do is uh, we need to create a folder. Maybe we, we name it a name like uh, let's name it um, 1V Tech. 1V Tech. So we create. So the folder is right here. And when we open it, it's empty. So we can put anything. Either we can upload uh, any document that we feel like, anything. We can place it in a folder so I would be organized. Okay, let's go back. Plus button. So we also have the Google Docs. So if you've not yet installed Google Docs, you go and install it. So it's it embeds with a with a Google Drive. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to do a separate video about the Google Docs, Google Sheet. Yeah, that's how we can bring in the Google Sheet. We can create a Google Sheet still, you install it. Then um, what else? Google Slides still, you install it. I just wanted us to keep this video short so that maybe we'll do the other separate videos. You can easily organize your files using folders, making it simple to find uh, what you need quickly. 
you can create custom folders, color code them for easy identification and even use Google Drive's powerful search feature to locate these files in seconds. Let's move our document. We have the invitation and the scan. So we want to move it to our folder. So if you want to move, we'll tap this icon right here and now we'll select the folder and now we we'll say move. So that's how we can organize our documents easily so that they don't over a lot. Yeah, how to change the folder colors. We'll come to the files and now we'll select our, we've seen teamwork 1v. So let's select the one of teamwork, we we'll long press and now we'll uh, tap the three dot menu and now we'll change the color. Mm, let me use which color. Okay, let me use that color. Yeah. Next up, one of Google Drive's most powerful features is our file sharing. You can share files with anyone, whether they have Google account or not. Simply right click, choose share and uh, and uh, you can set permissions like viewer, commenter, and uh, editor, depending on how much access you want to give them. So what we're gonna do, uh, we're going to, to give our file a permission. For instance, this one, I just want to share it with you, the viewer, right now. So uh, maybe when you're done with watching this video, you'll be able to check it out. So I'm going to select share. I'm going to tap on this icon and I'll select uh, the access. So the access that I'm going to select, remember it's restricted. That means um, only one person can use it. I'm going to share it as a link, anyone with the link. So I'm updating uh, permission granted. I can either give permission as just a viewer or a commenter or an editor. So maybe they can add changes to what I've shared with them. Yeah, so the, let me just leave it to a viewer because I, I just don't want us to. Let's copy the link. You tap right here. So the link has been copied. Oh, how am I going to share this link? I'm going to include this link in the description so uh, you can be able to access what I've showed you. And for extra security, you can also set expiration dates for the access or revoke it all at any time. One of the best things about Google Drive is the collaboration feature. If you are working with Google Docs, Google Sheet, or even Slide, multiple people can edit their files at the same time. So for that case, let's create another folder. Let me name it uh, Teamwork. Teamwork, okay. So this Teamwork will put our documents in here. Any edit, any word will be in this folder. So what we're gonna do, you just have to give it access. So I tap on the three dot menu, then I head to manage access. I don't want to just restrict it, anyone that has a link. After selecting anyone that has a link, I give permission to the editor. So, so they will be able to edit. They'll be able to, uh, to edit anything in this link so that means if we're working as a team we can maybe use the folder to share the links and we can improve any document in the or anything yeah so that is it you will see each person's changes in real time making teamwork a breeze the backup synchronization feature allows you to save a copy of your important files this feature here, we can back up wherever we want to back up. We, we can lose memories, for instance. If you want a backup, you come right here, backups. There is already a backup. So this is the backup. 
so if you want to access the backups you come right here three dot menu then you come to backups so i see here what's a backup so if you want to access the backups you come to the three dot menu then you come to the backups wow there is the whatsapp backup so this is the whatsapp backup but they can be multiple backups we can back up these photos and videos to the google drive using an app called google apps and soon i'll be doing a video about that app if there is any folder on your computer that you linked to your google drive the folders will be appearing right here but currently i don't have any computers linked to this email or this google account so it's it doesn't have anything this ensures that your files are safe even if something happens to your device plus with your mobile app you can back up your phones photos videos automatically no worrying about losing the previous memories going off grid no problem with google drive you can access and edit your files even if you're offline just enable offline mode and any changes that you make will synchronize when you get back online so if you're working in a team or running a business google drive also comes with advanced tools like google workspace offering shared drives enhancing security and even admin controls for seamless collaboration so the following are the bonus tips about the google drive features that you didn't know about bonus features we're going to start with uh, the file options when i tap the three dot menu what happens these are the options that show up and we have the share option we've already seen it the manage access so when i add to star when i go to the start section we'll find what i've already started and if i want to disable it i'll just do the vice versa i go back and remove from star and in this section we will not find any starred file let me select this and uh, three dot menu make it available flying so if i make it available flying what does that mean when i tap uh, our sidebar then i go to the offline it is the so there is a section of offline so let's proceed three dot menu copy link if you want to share it so let's make a copy what does it show us these options computer my computer shared with me or stud i'll go to my drive and select i'll just select and now it has made a copy though you've not seen it yeah a copy is right here that's how you can copy a file but again note that when you copy a file it won't carry the permissions because this one is a uh, it can be shared but now this one you can share it so let's go back to our options and um send a copy obviously sending open with obviously opening with download if i want it to come to my device i'll just click download and it will come to my device three dot menu um rename this is how i can rename it and three dot menu uh, show file location where is the file located yeah so the details of the activity uh, this shows uh, when was the file edited the file type the size these are the basic things and three dot menu um what else are we working on right here there is a, an option of print if you wanted to print it out that's basic uh, so this is a uh, add to home screen so let's add it to the home screen automatically 
So it is now at the home screen right here. If I tap, it will bring direct. Yeah, so those are the basic features. I don't know whether we've left anything behind. So these, we have the recent offline trash. In trash, let me see if we have, no, it didn't come to trash. So let's go to the backup, uh, the spam. We don't have any spam yet. And uh, what else? Backups, we looked at that. And what else? Settings. So these are the, the different settings. You can change the settings based on what you want. We'll not dive into that because the video is going to be so long. From personal file storage to team collaboration, Google Drive truly has something for everyone. What's your favorite feature of Google Drive? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and uh, share. Subscribe to One Vtech if you have not yet subscribed. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, blessings.